Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2006 Rockwood Rue. This is a 19 footer and it weighs 3,600 pounds. Uh, it's a real nice trailer overall, it's in good shape, but there's two issues that are, are wrong with it that we noticed and one is there's a, a problem with the awning and the front part of the floor in the very center has some softness from leakage. Uh, beyond that, the roof, the sidewalls, everything is in real nice shape on this trailer. So let's take a quick walk around it. Um, okay, like I said, the sidewalls, they're all nice and strong and solid. They look shiny. The awning, I was saying there's a problem with it. Basically, there's a bracket that's broken in the end of the arm. And other than that, the, the hardware and the fabric all look real good. So it takes about $250 to repair that. Uh, we can do that for you if you wish to pay the $250. Uh, got some storage here. And the tires look good. The tread looks good. Sidewalls look good. They are original. So you can choose whether or not you want to change them. Uh, you know, this RV is manufactured by Forest River. So they're just a nice, strong company. They're still in business. And one thing I want to mention is that all these vinyl tent ends, which are in good shape on this trailer, are actually all available from the manufacturer. So replacement parts are easy to get. Not that you should need that, but it's just good to know you have a strong company. So again, good condition. No dents or scratches. There's an outside shower here. Uh, we just recently acquired this RV. We have not even cleaned it yet, so you might see a little dirt on it, but I would say overall it is a clean coach. Here's the water heater and the city water connection. Uh, all the major appliances on this are guaranteed to work too, like the fridge, the furnace, the water heater, the air conditioner, the water system. Uh, we checked the LP system. So let's take a look inside. Let's go look at that floor first of all. Before we look at that, I should mention that we have the air conditioner on and it's ice cold. So that's all you could ever want. So the floor is soft right here in the front center. Um, when I open up the storage and put my feet down here on the floor, it feels soft here, but if I get toward the outer edge, it feels nice and solid in there. So it's just concealed in this basic area. I'm not sure where the leakage came from, but it probably came from the front bunk. Uh, if it was me, first of all, these floors are constructed with uh, paneling laminated to styrofoam, and they've got like a steel or aluminum frame. So they're not like a plywood floor that's rotted out. It's real thin material anyway. If it was me, I actually wouldn't replace it. I'd just leave it. It's, it's good as is, in my opinion. But if you wanted to replace it, you could just brace it from the bottom and not really do anything else. Uh, okay, you got a queen bed up front. And then I want to make mention, too, that all the bunk ends, you know, the vinyl and everything looks great. No stains, no mildew. So it's a real nice shape. And this queen bed is a heated mattress. And this is a dinette, so I've got it made into a bed right now. So that's the way it makes into a bed, but there's a table right here that comes up and it makes into a dinette. And then also this is a sofa that makes to a bed. you got a real nice kitchen here. And there's the microwave, nice and clean. The sink. It's like the cutting board's got a little wear and tear from using it. Tons of storage in here though, and the counter is nice. Again, we just recently got this RV. We've only tested the systems. We haven't cleaned it. Came in nice and clean. In here is the bathroom. So you've got a nice tub and surround. Uh, the skylight area where typically I see mold and mildew in some RVs looks all real nice and solid and it also comes with a fantastic fan. And then let's just check the back bed real quick. And you've got another 
queen bed in the back here. And a, there's a couple stains in the back on this fabric, but no mildew or anything like that. Just stains from getting used probably by the kids and stuff. So anyway, whoever wins this RV is just going to...